Good morning, Matt kids. Happy Sunday. Hope you are well. I'm excited to share our Bible lesson with you today. Um, so I wanted to start with a question. I was wondering if any of you have ever done something hard or challenging to get a reward. Um, I have a few examples. I want to ask you if you would do these hard things to get a reward, okay? So, would you eat a sardine and peanut butter sandwich if someone paid you a dollar? Would you do that? Hmm. What about, would you drive in the car all day with your whole family if you could go to Disney World? Hmm. What about, would you skip recess if you could stay with your friend and help them with their homework? Last one. Would you tell someone about Jesus if you knew you would go to jail, if you knew that Jesus would reward you in heaven and that person would get to go to heaven? That's a tough one, huh? Going to jail? I've never been to jail, but it sounds like a really hard thing to do. And that is exactly what Paul does in our Bible story today. Um, we're going to be joining Paul in Acts chapter 20. Um, he's on his third missionary journey. We've been following him um, all around Asia, and he has been sharing the good news of Jesus with anyone that he meets. He's been sharing it with uh, Jews and Gentiles, people that have um, been waiting for the Messiah and people that have never heard of the Messiah. Um, and God has been using him to do amazing things. Uh, and when he's getting ready to leave from this place, he gathers everyone together and he has some things to say. Okay, so we're going to be reading uh, Acts 20, verse 18 through 25, okay? Um, it says, when he had, had everyone come together, he said to them, You know from the first day that I came to Asia, in what matter, manner I always lived among you, serving the Lord with all humility, with many tears and trials that happened to me by the plotting of the Jews, how I kept back nothing <clears throat> that was helpful, but proclaimed it to you and taught you publicly and from house to house, testifying to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. And see, now I go bound in the spirit to Jerusalem, not knowing the things that will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city, saying that I will have chains and tribulation awaiting me. But none of these things move me, nor do I count my own life dear, so that I can finish my race with joy and the ministry which I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of grace. And indeed, now I know that uh, you all, among whom I have gone preaching together, will will see my face no more. So Paul is saying he knows that his ministry and his life are almost over. He is willing to give his life for Jesus and for the sharing the gospel. Uh, that's the only thing he's concerned about is telling as many people as he can about Jesus. Um, it's pretty pretty amazing that he doesn't think about himself. He doesn't think about how comfortable he might be, how much fun he might have, what he might rather be doing instead. He knows that um, the most important thing in this life is Jesus and sharing him with other people. Um, so do you think that Paul is able to live like this uh, out of his own strength just because he wants to do the right thing? No, Paul is doing all this by the power of the Holy Spirit. Do you remember our memory verse, Acts 1.8? It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So we need the Holy Spirit to empower us to be able to obey God and spread the gospel. 
and we need the Holy Spirit to prepare other people's hearts to receive the gospel. So I wanna encourage you <clears throat> guys today, this week to pray for one of your neighbors, um, for their hearts to be softened by the Holy Spirit, and then pray for an opportunity um, to share the gospel with them. Let's pray right now, all right? Jesus, thank you for your word in the Bible that shows us examples of um, Paul obeying you and giving his whole life for you. Jesus, we pray that you would help us to give our lives for you, Lord Jesus. We pray that the Holy Spirit would fill us with power to do hard things, Jesus, to uh, talk to other people about you, even though it might be uncomfortable. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you would soften our neighbors' hearts, um, that they would be ready, their hearts would be ready to receive you, to give their lives to you, Jesus. And we ask that you would give us um, opportunities and a chance to tell others about what you are doing in our life and what you've done for us by dying on the cross for our sins and giving us an opportunity um, to live with you forever. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we love you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. I hope you guys have a great week. I love you guys and pray that you grow closer to Jesus every day. We'll see you later.